Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I'm Donna Jones, and this is Be You Say Bye to anything that hinders you from serving God, getting your life in order, thinking about how good God is, doing what God said do, standing on faith, praising our Heavenly Father for His Son Jesus, and thanking Him for the Holy Spirit that will lead us, guide us, and direct us in everything that we do. Amen? Amen. I'm coming from Joshua 1 and 8. And it says, you know, you got to do these cell phones right. This book, which is talking about the Bible <clears throat> of the law, and we're not under the law, we're under grace, but it works for us because what he told them, he's telling us. This book of the law shall not depart out of my mouth, thy, my, however you want to put it, out of my mouth. When I open my mouth, the scriptures ought to be coming up out of the pits of my belly. Whew, Jesus, hallelujah. And speaking the word of God, saying the word of God, encouraging people with the word of God, knowing that the word works if I work it. Oh, my God. But thou shalt meditate. And meditate means you not you don't have to pray and be silent. Pray and let your ear hear. Because it says faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when you pray, let your ear hear. So it builds up your faith because it penetrates in the spirit and the spirit gets excited. And this is how come I'm so excited because of the word of God. And he say day and night. There's times I wake up. <clears throat> and and, and I'm, I'm going to keep it real. I don't want to get out of the bed. But I can pray where I can hear myself and not disturb my husband. And I can pray. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Because sometimes I have to be praying. And I don't, I, I even go in, in, into tongues. I ain't got to get up and get in, a, get in a, a, go to another room. I be laying in my bed. Because oh, I know. Woo. The Holy Spirit is seeing something that I don't know nothing about. I'm getting excited. I'm about to calm down. But he see, he's letting me begin to minister in tongues in my bed. People say they get up and, and they go in another room. They go in a prayer room. I'm on my pillow. Now, what? I'm on my pillow. And I'm interceding because something could be going on in the atmosphere in somebody's home. Verbal abuse, of, of, of being abused and, 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 and gunshots. I, yes, we got to pray for these people that take it upon themselves to shoot somebody. We've got to pray about that. And we got to pray about their families. We got to pray that uh, 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 laborers will go before them and they'll see Jesus in these people. We got to come out of these churches. We got to come out of these houses. We got to walk around in the malls praying two by two. Go two by, don't go nowhere by yourself. Lord told me to go to this and this and that. Don't go by yourself. And I thank God for this, that thy mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. <clears throat> We got to do what the word says. Oh, and you know, every time I sit up here, I get excited because it's, it's time for us to begin to uh, come together. It's, it's time for us to stop being afraid. Oh, Miss Jones, I, I'm scared to be on TV. What are you scared of? You ain't scared to go in the club. So if you ain't scared to go in the club, you ain't scared to come on TV. Because I, I don't believe uh, they shooting up in here. You know, I've been out there, I've been in the world, and you looking over your shoulder all the time, and don't tell me you're not. You might go in there and have a good time. I'm not going to say, because when I went in there, I had a good time. I'm not going to tell nobody that I was out in the world and didn't have a good time, because I did what Donna Jones wanted to do. But now, whew, Jesus, hallelujah, I got a different partner. I have Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I'm telling you, I dance, woo, I can dance, mm, I can dance way, hey, woo, and I, ooh, I don't have a care in the world. I can just praise him, throw my hands up, 
just like I don't care. That's what me and my sister Vicky, we did all the way from Alabama. We think of something, we just say, whoop, let me throw my hands up because I just don't care because I cast it on God. Now it's my turn to be happy and be joyful and encourage you. Oh, to, 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 to put your mind on Christ. Tell God, I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. And I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. You are saved. My God, my God. And I'm telling you, no, things don't change overnight. Don't expect because you accepted Jesus Christ that your life is going to change overnight. And then because it doesn't, you get depressed, frustrated. You start to fret. Psalms 37, 1 says, fret not thyself or even do it. Don't fret. Just calm down, Donna. Calm down. I'm excited that I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. Calm down and study the word. And if you don't understand, come to a halt. I'm reading this, but I don't understand what it says. Meditate on what you're reading. Stop right there. Don't keep moving. Stop there. Because sometimes when we're reading the word of God, the reason why we don't understand it is because we don't know what those words mean, Donna Jones. I, I have to stop, I have to get a tablet, and I got to write that word out, go to the dictionary or Google it, Google, and find out what it means. And, and see, we're all coming together in love, and we're all coming together to get rid of the things that are bothering us and all the abuse and all the hurt and all the pain that's going on in our little peedy weedy minds and, and getting to our heart where we can't receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, where we we at the point where we, we don't trust God. We, we're going to trust our neighbors. Don't do that because your neighbors got issues too. They got issues and they want to get help from you and you want to get help from them. And what both of you need to do is you need to call on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's that time. We've all had hurt. Things have gone on in my life. And I'm telling you, I could just fall out and just stay on the floor. Sometimes I'll be in church. I just want to lay out on the floor. And just stay there. Preach if you got to preach. Do what you got to do. Choir sing. But things is going on. Hi, you little most thunder. Going on in my life. I need to lay on the altar. Don't be afraid. Get up. Them people ain't going to save you. Them people can't so solve that problem. But stop being afraid to go to church and let go and let God do it in your home. I'm just saying, church, don't get me twisted. But you can do these things right at home. Sometimes people want to be out there because they believe in their pastor. There's nothing wrong with it, but pastors get your anointed oil and get yourself ready to lay hands on the sick, lay hands that people be delivered, lay hands on them that they'll receive Jesus Christ as Lord and save. It is time for God to have his way and that we get rid of the dumb stuff. Trying to do this. Yes, I got a conference coming up. But see, it's not about the comp conference. It's about the women coming and being delivered. And we lay hands on you. You hear the word of God. You <clears throat> Faith come by hearing. You got to hear the word. You can't save your own self. And if you ain't saved, you can't get your friends saved. And I know a lot of people out there, you, 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 you have a hard spirit. You want to, you, you, I'm not even going to say that you're not a Christian, but you're doing things with your carnal mind. Let's wake up. Let's wake up. Let's wake up. It's time to wake up. Ooh, hallelujah. It's time to wake up and let God have his way in our life. My you know, there's a scripture that says God, you know, he wants to send people and we always, Lord, send me. Here I am, send me. Then when he get ready to send you, you don't want to go. You don't want to do anything. You want to stay at home and cook on Sunday. You want to go to church and, and it lasts 30 minutes. And then it, once it, 30 minutes is up, you zipping your Bible like you telling the pastor, I'm, I, it's time for you to quit. You don't know what the Holy Ghost going to do. And when you walk out the door, you miss your blessing because you time in God. We can't put no time clock on God. Come on. I, and that's the reason why I'm excited. I might, and it's so funny because 
uh, we have a, a young man, and I think he's from Japan or Korea, Korea, and, and he had never been in church long. And he was w in church with uh, at Restoration Urban <laughs> Ministries, and different things were going on, and you know, in that day. And he said, "I ain't never been in church five hours." And and it just and every time we say five hours, he just bust out laughing. Because we, we so, we, 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 sometimes we stay in church a long time, and then sometimes we stay in church and, uh, for a short time, however it is. Because you don't have to go to church to receive the word of God and be happy. See, I'm happy. I, I was happy in my home this morning. I got up and my husband woke me up and he's cooking, you know, uh, sausage and potatoes and, and, and egg, scrambled eggs or whatever he's cooking. I got them potatoes, okay, and, 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 a, and a sausage on my potato. Yes, I ate a sausage. Woo, woo, woo. And, uh, but I, I was just, my house was just full, full. Oh, Jesus, full of the Holy Ghost. It was just full because I made it that way. I, had to, I said, Holy Ghost, you're welcome in my home. Welcome, welcome, do what you do. And, and he was bringing joy with me and my husband. And this is the reason why I like the word of God and, and I stand on the word of God because he said that if I um, get the word and, and it don't depart from my mouth and I say the word of God and, and, and I meditate day and night and I observe to do what's according to all that he's written in the word of God. Uh, then it says, then, 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 then you, you, you and me shall make thy way prosperous. And, and, and then once he makes it prosperous, he said, then Thy shall have good success. I don't know what you want in life. I, I do see a lot of heads down when, when I'm going out to the mall and stuff. People won't speak and their heads are not up. And um, I met a gentleman uh, at the, the mall and uh, he just, whew, he was so excited. And let me tell you something. We, we, we look at people and we think they're not Christians because they ain't dressed the way you think they ought to be dressed. Well, you know, some people don't want to dress like you, okay? Hold up, whatever. And um, I'm standing there, because everybody says, Donna, you loud, and you, you don't meet strangers, and, 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 and we can't get you out of store, which happened yesterday. And so I, I, I've tried not to, you know, make it known that I was loud, and my name was Donna Jones. <laughs> but this man spoke to me, and I said, hi. And he got to speaking about the Lord. I said, sir, don't make me shout up in this mall, because I will. He said, well, it'll be two of us. So <laughs> we got to talking and, and enjoying, and I was telling him about myself and my business. And I'm just excited, excited about making these shirts that says change ain't change until you change. I'm excited about that. Yes, yes, yes. Call 217-766-8839. It's always, it's on here that I, I make shirts because we need, we need the shirts that's representing Christ. We need things that say, be you, say bye to anything that hinders you from serving God. We need these shirts to get out into the world. And we need to be, stop saying, ooh, that's too much. Ooh, ain't nothing too hard for God. Ain't nothing too high for God. It's that time that we begin to have positive things being done in this world. Walking around the mall, going to the exercising. We wear their shirts. Let's wear God's shirt. Let's begin to represent Christ when we go places. Uh, young lady I had on my uh, change ain't change to your change. She said, ooh, I like that. And we were at the uh, Planet Fitness. And I'm telling you, God gets something out of everything. Oh, hallelujah. We, and no, if we trust in God, we would do. And you know, pros, being prosperous and successful is not all about money. Because if your mind ain't right, Romans 12 and 1. If your mind ain't right, ain't nothing going right. I don't care how much money you got. If you ain't got no love and no peace, and no joy, you ain't got control of this here flesh. Uh-oh, 
I, I think I'm talking about Donna Jones now. Control of this flesh, if you ain't standing on faith and trusting and believing in God, mm, I'm telling you now, you got to trust God. You got to, I'm going to read this scripture. Trust in its Proverbs and everybody knows it, but there's somebody out there that I'm talking to. Somebody out there is trying to handle um, taking care of home and three and four and five children and, and trying to get things done in the home. And I'm, I want to tell you to read Proverbs 3 and 5. I want to tell you that get your mind right. Stop letting the devil speak to you. Stop letting somebody put you on a guilt trip. God didn't put us on a guilt trip. People put us on a guilt trip. And there was a time when I was going to church, and I, I'm, I, I said this. I said this. I don't like church because I, I never had or heard so much confusion in my life because I was doing Donna's thing. I was out there doing what I like to do. And nobody, I mean, people come against you because, you know, the, but the devil had me at that time. So I probably didn't hear all the confusion. But I still said, I still said, I don't like church because, ooh, them people, they don't do nothing but whine and talk about people and claiming territory. You can't sit in this pew and you can't go up front. You can't wear a short sleeve. You can't wear a short skirt. Uh, you, got to, you got to do this and that. You can't wear makeup. I'm telling you, I said, I don't like church. But I found out it wasn't about that. Ooh, Let me shout, hallelujah. It wasn't about that. It was about me going to church. Listen to this. Getting rid of all that stuff. Getting this here, my eyes focused. I, my eyes wasn't focused. I was going to and fro. And my son and my daughter, Stephanie, and Stan, and my husband, Donna, if you put your eyes forward, you know how a horse has a thing on his face? And he can only look forward. He couldn't. When he was running, I had to put blinders on and, and, and I needed a, 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 a guard, you know, something to keep my neck from, because I would turn and I'd see everything. i hear everything, but I wasn't hearing the pastor. I wasn't hearing God using the pastor and speaking to me. And so I started going into church saying, God, what you got for me? Because see, it was all about what he had for me and not what I was seeing and hearing. And so I want to read this scriptures, Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord. Oh, my God. You got to trust God. You trust everybody else. I trusted everybody else. I believed that, that what they were saying. And, and there was a time... I tell you, I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. Lord, let me be quiet. Lord, don't let me be loud. Oh, God, let me go up here and when I minister the word. Please, God, let me be quiet. Mm. And I get right up there. And I was so excited about God. I was so excited about being free. I was so excited that all these voices that I was hearing that I didn't have to um, d depend on the voices and the things that was going on around me, that what God had for me, and I, I believe had, it was for me, and, and, and um, how he was ministering to me to bring all this out. He, he, there's a reason why I'm here, and, and, and I'm, letting, I'm trying to get people to get off of a guilt trip and, and come on and let God penetrate through, oh, your mother died, your daddy died, your kids died, everybody died, the dog died, even the goldfish died. But get over it, you're still alive. Get, get, have some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful memories. Oh, I have beautiful, beautiful memories that 
I have my moment and I, and I get in a corner and I think about my family that's gone. I'm, I think about my son that's gone and I have those memories, but they're good memories. And yes, there's times when I want to say, oh, I miss you, I miss you, and I want you to come back, but I know they can't. So I, I got to trust God. And, and it says here, trust in the Lord, made me want to cry, with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. Standing, hallelujah, lean not on thy own understanding. And if we trusted God, <clears throat> and, and, and I remember this one scripture, Joshua 1 and 1, and it said, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua. I put my name there. Instead of Joshua, I put Donna, the son of Nun. Moses ministering, saying, so, so, Moses are my family, my friends that I love uh, are dead. And, and then it's got a noun. After all that, after all that, after all that, he got a noun, N-O-W. Now, therefore, rise up, get up, and go, go out in the highways and the byways. Matthew 28, go out in the highways and all his people unto the land which I go do give to them, even to the children. Go, 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 go and spread the word, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. But you got to grab them. You got to get them. You got to spread the word of God. You got to say, hallelujah, glory to God. You got to say, God, what else do you want me to do? God, I trust you. I'm leaning on you. I'm, I'm, I'm not giving it all to my friends and my neighbors and living and, and, and talking about the dead. The dead is dead. It's gone. Hallelujah. So that's the reason why I want you to meditate on this word so that you can be prosperous and so that you can be successful and that you can grow up. Get off of milk. It's time out for milk. It's time for you to get on some meat. You've been on milk for a long, long time. It's okay to drink the milk, but put some meat and some bread and some potatoes with it. It's time for you to move and let your friends, let your neighbors. You know, I got neighbors and, 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 and I, when I first see him moving in, because I'm one of the, one, I said, of the longest in the neighborhood, and when they come, I greet them, and people say, Donna, you just, you, you, you don't even know them, and you talking to them. I don't got to know them. I want them to know me. I want them to see Christ in me, and I want them to uh, receive what God has for them. I want them to be able to wave. They don't have to talk to me. They can just wave. And if they don't want to wave, I'll wave. Good morning. This is what God would do. This is what Jesus did. Jesus went all over the world. And the word spread. He, he didn't have a nasty word, a filthy word. His eyes didn't see that you was all nasty and dirty and rolling in the mud. He didn't see that. He saw the love in you. And he wanted you to get up, arise, arise. I'm rising higher and higher because God, see, I'm not doing it on my own. It's God exalting me through the blood of Jesus. He's exalting me. And I'm happy, I'm happy going around and about to minister to people and tell them how good God is and that you don't have to always be sad. And, and sad and mad and had, they're not spirits from God. <laughs> That's not from God. That's from Satan. And he wants you to go down, down, down. You know, all them songs, you know, you where you go, Drop it like it's hot. They want you to drop it like it's hot and fall on the floor and roll over in it and start eating on toilet paper. That's Satan. But God, he will lift you up. All you have to do is say, I need some help, God. You know, it's just that simple. I need help. 
I, my, my mind need to change. I need to stop listening to what I'm hearing around me. All these things that's bringing me down. You got to stop and begin to trust in God. Amen. Amen. And don't forget, put on your calendar, June 20th. June 20th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Restoration Urban Ministries. We will have our 2015th Women's Conference. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we want all women, all women, come on to Restoration Urban Ministries, 1213 Parkland Court. Right down by Parkland, Restoration Urban Ministry. Some people don't even know those green apartments that there's a church up in there. But 1213 Parkland Court, Champaign, Illinois. Amen. And I'm going to say, be you. Say bye to anything that's hindering you from putting God first. God bless you. I'm Donna Jones. Have a blessed day.